Hey, Tribe World. It is a member of the Tribe official team here, sending all our very best festive wishes to all our tribal brothers and sisters around the world. Whether or not you celebrate Christmas, it is a wonderful time with the dawn of a new year to reflect on the past, present, and future. No, we're not thinking of anything Dickensian with any ghosts appearing, but we thought you might like to have some interesting extracts from our archive vaults when another member of our team conducted some interesting interviews with the cast. What does Christmas mean to you and your family? Well, Christmas down in, in New Zealand sort of means a pretty hot summer to come um, upcoming. So to me, that's what it means, just hot summer days and lazy beach days and just hanging out with my family and friends, really, yeah. What about on Christmas Day? How does the day usually pan out for you? Well, uh, recently it's been pretty low-key. I've got my brother and a sister and my parents, and we just we hang out at our beach house and... Um, and we open presents and just have a really nice lunch and lie in the sun and go for a swim and generally just have a very lazy day. Have you got a favourite Christmas food that you hang out for on Christmas Day? Uh, pretty um, Christmas Prince pies have got to be pretty top of the list. They've got to be pretty, pretty delicious, yeah. Have you made any plans for New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve? Not really. I'm just going with the flow. I, I can't really be bothered making huge plans. I just want to see what happens on the night and, and go with it, yeah. Have you got any goals for next year? Goals for next year? Um, I just want, I want to do well at school. I want to just grab every opportunity that comes my way. I'm, it's my last year of school and I just want to go and enjoy it and try and take, take, make the most of all the people that are going to be there that I maybe aren't going to be in my future. Um, yeah, and stay in contact with people that aren't always around me and have a really good time. Have you ever been given a Christmas gift that was just like the ultimate gift? <laughs> I remember when I was nine years old and I was given this huge dollhouse that I'd wanted since I could remember and I opened it up and nearly passed out. I was so excited and couldn't move for about five minutes and spent the rest of Christmas Day building this playhouse and no one could take me away from it. It was the best present ever. It was so exciting. What about, have you ever had gone on any missions to get the ultimate present for anyone? Um, probably. I can't remember. I think, I really like giving presents. I think it's really fun. And most of the time I try to um, try to give good presents, but I'm so unorganised and I never get anything in time, so it's always just a mad rush to get anything for anyone in the end. But, um, no, I mean, usually I just try to make an effort and give someone, give people something nice, but it's a bit hard sometimes. Have you got a favourite Christmas movie? Um... Not really. I don't. I mean, because where I, where I am before before Christmas, we don't actually have a TV, so I don't actually see the Christmas movies when they get shown. So, no, I can't really think of one. What about a Christmas song or Christmas carol? Um, I like Away in a Manger. It sort of says it really. It's quite it's quite nice. And there was a really nice song that I heard called uh, A New Zealand Christmas, which instead of talking about snow and bells of holly, which we don't have over here, um talked about Pahutakawa trees, you know, one of our native trees and um, how we all have a summer Christmas and I thought that was that was really apt. Well thanks for joining us today Beth and we hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Thank you. What does Christmas mean for you and your family Caleb? I think Christmas is a time where you can spend time with friends and family um, and just generally be happy with people. Um, what do you guys usually do on Christmas Day? Well, there's usually a uh, Christmas lunch or dinner, and do the open presents thing, and that's about it. And is there any food that you hang out for, knowing that it's Christmas? Ah, uh, my dad usually makes chocolate, which is pretty good, and um, typical old turkey and ham's always a good one. Have you got any plans for New Year's Eve? No, not yet. Uh, I've been thinking about what I want to do, and I don't don't have any yet. Uh, I wanted to go overseas for it if I could. Have you got any goals for 2001? Um, I would like to do a lot more music recording if I could in 2001. I want to get my studio set up somewhere permanently. Um, and just general career things. Um, Go that extra bit, um, keep on top. 
What's the best Christmas present that you've ever been given? It's still foam in a can, <laughs> I have to say. When I was younger, please we used... send no more foam in a can, okay? No, please do. It was, um, when I was younger, I used to get this stupid um, foam in a can. It was great. Me and my brother used to have fights with it. Awesome stuff. What about the best present you've ever given somebody? Ooh. That's a tough one. Um... I don't know. I don't know how I can judge that Phone because <laughs> probably no. I don't, I don't know how I can judge that because I don't know how everybody's taking their Christmas presents. You know, I mean, how, how do you judge a, the best Christmas present? Is it the most expensive? Is it the one given from the heart? Is it depends, the... doesn't it? Or yeah. is it the biggest mission that you've gone on to get it? Damon Andrews told us of an extremely big mission he did to get a vest for his girlfriend, and she was so disappointed when she went back to the shop and it wasn't there. Oh, but he'd already bought he'd already it. Bought it. Oh, oh, see, that's sweet. That's a mission. That's yeah. that's a good one. I can tell you the best Valentine's gift I ever gave. Go on then. Well, it was a. Um, and this is a bit of a mission too. It was a um, a gold necklace, a gold chain with um, a little gold dolphin on the bottom of it. And um, what it is, I bought that, and then I bought a solid chocolate heart about the size of a hand and and a box and lots of gold little wrapping paper and cute little things and I went home and the heart was actually in two pieces it was quite cool it was cut down the middle so I hollowed out a hole in the middle and put the chain on the inside and then over a stove and boiling water and a plate I melted both sides of the heart and stuck it together so it looked like it was one piece and then cleaned it all up wrapped it back up in its wrapping and then filled up this little box with um, with like little spongy cutie things and Gold. golden spongy. stuff, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and um, put the heart in there with a little note um, to say and open me. Oh. And then wrapped the box up and um, and gave it on Valentine's Day. Brings tears to my eyes, mate. Uh. <laughs> there you go. Back to Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> um, favorite Christmas movie? Oh, definitely uh, Night Before Christmas. And do you have a favourite Christmas carol or a Christmas song? Um, Snoopy's Christmas. Thanks for talking to us about Christmas, and we hope you have a great Christmas. You too. And to all the fans of Tribe World, we hope you have a great Christmas too. Merry Christmas. Antonia, what does Christmas really mean for you and your family? Christmas is a day when relatives who normally wouldn't see each other come together, have heaps of fun, and you know, eat a big Christmas dinner together, and everyone gives presents to each other, and just has a really good time together. Like every Christmas, all my relatives from around New Zealand come, and we all convene, usually at our house, and just ha you know enjoy each other's company and catch up on what's gone by during the year. How does Christmas Day normally take shape in your place? Well, we usually get up reasonably early, but as kind of we all get older. It gets later because we don't like, you know, waking up early. And then my family goes to church in the morning. Um, then we come back and we open our presents if we've been able to wait until after church, but sometimes it happens beforehand if we're too eager. And then the rallies come over and we have a big Christmas lunch with everything you could possibly want, which is all good. And then just kind of hang out with each other for, for the rest of the day and just chat and talk and we... You know, we usually just stay at home, don't we? Yeah, we don't usually go out, just, you know, have fun at home. Is there a Christmas food that you hang out for? Uh, well, I love the Christmas pudding because there's this really good way that my dad does it. He pours brandy over it and then lights it on fire and it, oh, it tastes so good. <laughs> have you got any plans for New Year's Eve? Well, actually, in a week I'm going to Virginia for uh, nine weeks on a school exchange and so... I don't know what I'll be doing on New Year's, but I'll probably be in Virginia somewhere hanging out with my host family. Having a bit of a white Christmas, maybe. Oh, I'm hanging out for a white Christmas. I hope it snows, yeah. <laughs> what are your goals for 2001? Um, to do well in bursary <laughs> last year at school, so hopefully I'll pass that. And generally, every you know, at the end of every year, I just try and just say, well, you know, whatever opportunities come up, just you know, seize every opportunity, don't let anything go by and just do it the best you can and just so you don't leave yourself wondering, oh, what if I had done this? Because I, I, don't, I don't think it's good to regret past up opportunities, so I'm just going to, yeah, try my hardest at everything. What's the favourite Christmas present you've ever bought for somebody? 
Have you ever bought for someone or just given someone? Oh, given. I think it would probably be this uh, little book of poems that I wrote and I gave it to my dad when I was about 10 or something. And so, I, yeah, I wrote him all these poems and stories just, you know, saying what a great dad he was and it was a bit cheesy and sentimental. But he really loved it and so I, I'd say that's probably the best thing I've given. What about the best thing that you've received? Well... This kind of makes me sound like a bit of a material girl, but I think it'd have to be my um, stereo that I got a couple of years ago because, you know, music's very important to me. And with that stereo, I can listen to it all day long. <laughs> Do you have a favourite Christmas movie? Um, I don't actually get to see a lot of Christmas movies, but out of the ones I have seen, I say it's Home Alone, Home Alone 1. I didn't like Home Alone 2, but Home Alone 1 was good. How about a Christmas song or carol? I love all Christmas carols. I love carol singing and... Just, you know, singing in general, but Christmas carols are so good because they're all so happy. But if I had to choose a favourite, um, I think, like, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is a good one and the classic Jingle Bells and We Wish You a Merry Christmas. Oh, see, there's heaps. <laughs> really, I love all of them. Well, thanks for joining us today and we hope you have a Merry Christmas. Thank you. And Merry Christmas to everyone out there too. What does Christmas mean for you and your family, Dwayne? <sighs> Christmas me, family. <laughs> you make sense of that? Nah, it's just family for me. Just family, and then I see my friends on New Year's, so it's always togetherness with my family. Mm. A nice meal and those sort of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, presents in the morning. I still act like a little kid. I sprint into the lounge at like 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, start ripping up in presents. Mum has to hold me back. And then in the afternoon, I usually catch up with the rest of the family, like um, grandparents stuff, have a, have a big dinner. Yeah, so basically I think key is family and togetherness, yeah. So any food that you sort of hang out for going, yeah, it's going to be good. Turkey, Christmas. I love turkey <laughs> and cranberry sauce, yeah, just stuff like that. Yeah, it's nice. Of course our Christmas, Christmases aren't um, big white Christmases, so we have barbecues and stuff like that. Do you have any plans for New Year this year? Um, no, not, no, it's funny. Last year I secretly um, took off to Africa without letting my mother know, which is a little bit naughty of me. But that was a great adventure. I went all by my lonesome for two weeks, did all sorts of nutty stuff. Like, um, but it was just fantastic. Um, this year, I thought about topping it, and then I thought, no, because I'm not going to, you know, South, you South Pole. <laughs> yeah, I know. How much further away can you get? I was out in the, you know, I was sleeping in the middle of the desert with lions and there and stuff. It was crazy. Um, now, I think I'm just going to keep this one easy this, this year, spend it with my friends, and maybe next one I'll go away. Yeah. Try and top that last trip. I'll try. <laughs> Um, what are your goals for 2001? Ooh. Um, I don't know. Uh, without sounding kind of like living in hope, I kind of have this weird feeling that I don't have to plan too much next year, um, which was kind of the feeling I got when I, I had when I got tribe. I kind of felt that you get that feeling sometimes when something you feel something's going to happen, which is always nice, and then when it doesn't, you feel really gutted. But <laughs> I don't know. 2001, ooh, yeah, lots more tribe, lots more tours and stuff like that. Because um, it's really starting to cook now, and um, and in my downtime, I don't know, family, friends, and maybe just little bits of work here and there. Yeah. Have you ever given someone a Christmas gift and, or a gift and just gone, yeah, that was the one? You know, when you get a look back and they love it. Uh yeah, I I honestly have. I can't think of it right now, but I know there's been stuff that people have talked about, um, all year, and then I give it to them, and they just so. Unex it was so unexpected. I remember when I gave my mum a hundred instant kiwis, her face kind of lit up, <laughs> especially when she won money on it. Instant and kiwi is like a scratch. A, and a scratch win. and win. Yeah, it's like a, like just one of those scratching. You can win ten thousand dollars. She didn't win ten thousand, but um, it was still a whole lot of fun. Little th um, yeah. Sometimes like girlfriends or something like a Christmas present. Sometimes they go oh. <laughs> <laughs> what about um the best gift that you've received? Um, the one I always hold close to me is. <coughs> excuse me, is um, my silver necklace. Yeah, it's a little silver cross, and it's just more sentimental value. I got it about five years ago in a stocking, and um, I've always worn it. I don't have it right now, but that's only because I've just got changed out of costume, and um, and it snapped last week. But I'll get it fixed and wear it, put it on again. Have you got a favourite Christmas movie? Um, yeah, 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 I do. That Scrooge one with Bill Murray. Oh, I can't remember the name. Uh, f uh, was it called Scrooge? Might be. I, can't I think it either. was. <laughs> I think it was called Scrooge. Worry. Yeah, yeah, and um, yeah, and, and the taxi driver. I remember all that. That was quite fun. And I did like the Nightmare Before Christmas. So it was very different. Very nice. Have you got a favourite Christmas carol or Christmas song? Christmas song. Um, I like Jingle Bells, but there's always one that reminds me of. I oh, know. I like some of those Christmas rock ones, and I like some. And to be, 
Oh, and I like some of Celine Dion's Christmas songs and some of Mariah Carey's, that kind of real funky stuff as well. I really like that. Um, yeah, and it's not because they're in the little Santa suits either. It's like, because it's really good. I like, it's catchy Christmassy music. So, yeah. Well, thanks for talking to us today and we hope you have a good Christmas. Thank you. And, um, and just to everyone out there, I just hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Um, stay tribal and have a great New Year and a safe New Year. Merry Christmas. Meryl, what does Christmas mean for you and your family? For me and my family, I think it's a time to celebrate the year that's just passed us, basically. Um, getting together, cele celebrating a new year coming as well as ending a new year. Um, yeah, just um, all getting lots of presents, I guess. Catching up um, with family, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and how does the day usually take shape from the time you get up? Okay, well, we've always had this tradition. We get up at 12 o'clock midnight and we open our presents then and we all have a big kind of party with our family and then the next day we have a huge Christmas dinner and, um, yeah, all together, family, everyone, friends. That's how it's always been for us. Is there any food that you really hang out for that you're going, oh, Christmas is going to have? I don't know if, it's, if there's any specific kind of food, but I always look forward to a great meal and it's always cooked my, by my mother. She's the best cook. And just looking at a full table full of food is what I look forward to. Yeah. Have you got any plans for New Year's Eve? I will be in South Africa, my hometown, after 13 years. So um, I'm really looking forward to actually going there and spending time with the family who I haven't seen for 13 years. So I'll be in the land of South Africa. What are your goals for next year, Meryl? Um, my goals? I'm actually looking forward to doing a lot of travelling. Um... Also getting my singing career, career on the go and um, fingers crossed for Tribe 4. What's the best Christmas gift you've ever given? I've ever given? Oh gosh. All my love. No, I'm kidding. I'd probably say um, a ticket for my mother to go down to the South Island in New Zealand for time alone. Yeah. What about the best one you've received? I'll never forget this, and I think it was in 1997, I got a beautiful Labrador, little puppy. It was a surprise, and it was our, um, one of our friends dressed up as Father Christmas. I had no idea, and he had this little dog tucked under his tummy. Very cute. It was absolutely gorgeous. Do you have a favourite Christmas movie? I don't watch a hell of a lot of Christmas movies, but one that I did enjoy was Home Alone. Absolutely. How about a Christmas song or a Christmas carol? All I Want For Christmas Is You. I love that one. That's on the Mariah Carey album. And um, Silent Night. Yeah. Thanks for joining us today to right. talk about Christmas. And we hope you have a Merry Christmas. I'm sure I will. All of you guys have a good one too. Bye. What does Christmas mean for you, Michelle? Um, I think it's one of the best times of the year. I'm not a hard-out Christian, but I do believe in... God and Jesus so it's a good time to reflect and I don't often go to church but it's one of those times when I will go with my family and sing carols and hug candles it's really nice and yeah hanging out with family and friends and just enjoying everyone's good vibe. And how does the day usually take shape for you from the time you get up? Um, I always get up really really early on Christmas day and like rush to check under the Christmas tree and count your presents <laughs> and then um yeah, we'll, we'll normally go to the beach, we'll go and have a picnic, so it's quite like a Christmas lunch sort of with the family. And then, because I don't have any relatives in New Zealand, we'll have friends over for a big Christmas dinner, and then we'll probably go to like a Christmas service at night at, at church and stuff. Yeah, but it's really family orientated. Have you made any plans for New Year's Eve? Oh my gosh, yes, I can't wait. Um, all my friends are finishing school, so we're doing a road trip up north. Um, it's great New Zealand's so small because you can just drive to one end of the country to another. And we're going to a place where all the teenagers go, called the Mount. It's sunny and lots of nice beaches, so yeah, party on. <laughs> what are your goals for 2001? Haven't got that far yet, but I'd be really keen to get an another acting job, like make sure I keep my foot in the industry between the break and maybe do a little bit of travelling, that would be nice. And because I'm starting university and stuff, to give it my best shot meeting new people and yeah. What's the best Christmas gift you've ever given? I don't know, I'd like to think all of mine were pretty okay. <laughs> <laughs> no I, one's complained yet. Yeah, not yet, fingers crossed, touch wood. Um, 
Yeah, just I think it's just like the little things that count. Just things when you hand over to like your mum and stuff, which just make her face light up. When I was little, I used to like make lots of presents. I remember one year I sort of collected roses all through winter, rose petals, and dried them, and then like added my own lavender and stuff. And I made up this ha, this made this potpourri thing for my mum, and she really liked it. That's pretty Thai sand of you. <laughs> hey hey yeah. <laughs> uh, what about the best present that you've ever been given? Well, I've had some pretty awesome ones. I've been pretty lucky. My mum and dad gave me and my sister a surprise surprise trip to America one year, which was sort of like nice because they packed our bags and everything and woke us up in the morning and said, we're going to the airport. And I'm like, why? Oh, we're going to America. I was like, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I've been given a little necklace. It was really nice, a little silver crucifix thing with a sapphire, which is really special. It's sentimental stuff, I think. Do you have a favourite Christmas movie? Not really. I don't know. Just like them all? Yeah, I like the little cartoons that always seem to come round around Christmas time. I can't remember names of any, but yeah. How about a favourite Christmas song or a Christmas carol? They're all pretty good. Traditional ones are good, like Oh Christmas Tree and stuff, but I, I like Snoopy's Christmas, just because it's Snoopy. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Michelle, and you have a great new year. Hey, Merry Christmas to all of you guys on Tribe World. I hope you have a lovely one, and have a great new year. Michael, we're just um, talking a bit about Christmas today. Yep. What does Christmas mean for you and your family? <laughs> oh, right. Um, this is one of these uh, really important questions. Uh, um, probably, uh, I mean, not to be corny or cheesy, I suppose you can only be cheesy and corny for this type of question. Um, probably just, you know, like family, you know. Getting time, together. Getting together type of thing. I mean, my, my sister's, um, in the, for most of the year, my sister's down south and my brother's in town. So, um... We, I mean, the family's together throughout times of the year, but Christmas is probably the main time, and yeah, probably just yeah, together in time. How does the Christmas Day take shape at your place? Well, you see, um, well, it depends. On, I mean, ten years ago, it would consist of getting up at four a.m. and waiting to see what the presents were, and trying to get mum and dad up, and and then had to, we'd have to go to church first, and then come back and open the presents. Nowadays, it's um, we all get up at about ten, <laughs> um, then cruise off to um, church. Um, we're not. I mean, well, my family's Catholic, and we go to church two days a year, Easter and Christmas. So we go to the um, local parish, um, and then we come home and open the presents and have a day in the sun. Yeah. Nice so. meal. Yeah, yeah. Now we ha usually have um, friends visiting at different times of the day, and usually end up um, having lunch. Lunch tends to be the main meal with a yeah, bit of chicken and lamb and stuff like that. Any Christmas food that you hang out for? Um, any favourite Christmas food? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the roast, the roast chicky, nice. pretty nice. Yeah, nice on a Christmas. Hot Christmas day. Yeah, no, nah, it's, yeah, it's, it can be nice and yeah, a bit of coke hole and stuff. What are your plans for New Year's this year, New Zealand? Um, well, um, me and my family and a few family friends and a few of my own mates are coming um, to a, a Queen Light, the Queen Charlotte Walk, which is a four-day tramp um, down south in the South Island of New Zealand, and. Um, We'll be having New Year's at uh, one of the lodges there. Yeah, they uh, they can they're pretty good parties because they can get up to a thousand, two thousand people there. Awesome. So it's yeah, place to be in this year. What are your goals for two thousand and one? Um, to pass bursary and um, this is my final exam, most important one. To yeah, to do my best in that. Um, to be able to yeah balance leisure and work and. Yeah. Like and, work school. Yeah, and hopefully by the end of it, I'll know what I want to do. I don't still don't know, but yeah. Just have a good time, you know, every year. What would be the best Christmas present that you've ever received? Oh, have to be a, um, I got this really cool um, G.I. Joe car when I was 11, and it was, like, the best G.I. Joe car at the moment. And, yeah, that was, I'd always, I'd wanted that for the whole year, and, yeah, got it. I haven't, I haven't had, like, any, um, big presents, like a big mountain bike or anything big like that. Trip. Yeah, yeah. On a, well, I mean, I've had, we've had family trips overseas, and, that's probably been a pretty cool present, but G.I. Joe thing, yeah. What about the best gift that you've ever given, something you've put a lot of thought into, uh, and, and it's all gone well? Um, I used to have this cool thing, because Mum and Dad used to always go by the slogan, um, it's a thought that counts, so I used to save a lot of money by just making cheap presents and <laughs> giving them to my parents, but I got found out after about, um, by the time I turned 14, uh, 13, and I had to start making, they had to start buying presents. Hey, there's not, not one any in particular, um... Yeah, no. Yeah, no. It's just the thought that counts. Yeah, it's just the thought it? that counts, you know. Yes, yeah, yes. Damn straight. Have you got a favourite Christmas movie? Oh, um. Oh, God. Uh. 
I see the Grinch is coming out this year. Yeah, I saw the Grinch coming out. I'm not. I mean, they don't. T- I mean, the, the Christmas movies always seem to be the same. You know, they're always corny type of things. Uh, Miracle on Fifty Fourth Street movie. That's what everyone says. So I'll say that. Yeah. Have you got a, a preferred Christmas carol or a Christmas song? Uh, probably. Uh, uh, oh, just, Santa Claus is coming to town, something like that. Thanks for talking to us about Christmas. Oh, thanks a lot for that. Hope you have a good Christmas. No, same, and I hope all the guys watching the show to have a good Christmas as well. Thanks, Mike. Yes, sure. Jennifer, what does Christmas mean for you and your family? Um, just a time to be together and think of my relatives overseas and give them a call and just have some fun and good food. (laughs) What usually happens on Christmas Day? What time do you get up and... How does the day go? Well, me and my brother aren't allowed to get up until 7 o'clock, but we usually get up at 5 and sort of either he comes into my room or I go into his room, we open up our stocking presents and then at um, 7 o'clock we go in and bounce on mum and dad and wake them up and then they get angry at us and then we have to go back to sleep until 8. And then we're allowed to get one present under the tree for mum, one for dad, one for me, one for Sam, and then we all sit around and open them and then get up and have lunch and open more presents. Go play cricket. <laughs> and is there any food that you hang out for when it's Christmas time? Dad's turkey stuffing. It's so good. Nice. Come into your place. <laughs> Have you made any plans for New Year's Eve? No, I've been really slack. I'm supposed to have, but I haven't. I'll probably just end up chilling with some of my mates on a beach somewhere watching the sun come up. What are your goals for 2001? Um... Just to be happy and have a good time and pass sixth form so I can go to university instead of having to go into seventh form. What's the best Christmas gift you've ever given? Um, I gave one of my friends a butterfly chrysalis so she could watch it hatch because I wasn't going to see her for, I think, six months because she was going away to stay with her dad in America. So I gave her a butterfly chrysalis so she could watch it hatch and set it free. What about the best Christmas present you've received? That would probably be when my nana gave me a pencil case and it was a really groovy pencil case and I was like, oh, thanks, nana. And then I opened it up and it was full of chocolate and I was like... I'm so happy because I was about six and I don't think I actually stopped talking for the rest of the day because I was on such sugar high. No. <laughs> Are you still on that sugar high? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a favourite Christmas movie? Yes. Oh, it's not really a Christmas movie, but they always used to play it around Christmas time when I was little. It's Milo and Otis, about the little kitty and the little dog. <laughs> so cute. How about a Christmas song or a Christmas carol? Easy. That's Well, it's not. they're not carols, but Snoopy's Christmas and Do They Know It's Christmas by John Lennon. Thanks for talking to us on Tribal today. We hope you have a good Christmas. You too. See you later. Tori, what does Christmas mean to you and your family? Um, Well, it means just being surrounded by all my loved ones and my friends, opening presents and going to church for, like, the one day that my family goes and eating, like, Christmas mince pies and just having fun and listening to Christmas carols and stuff. So what shape does the day take? What time do you usually get up and what happens? Well, it's kind of... We kind of get up a bit later every year once we get older. When we were little, we got up at, like, 5 in the morning. Um, we weren't allowed to wake our parents up until, like, 8.30. But now we kind of sleep till about 8-ish, 8.30-ish, and open up, me and my sisters open up our stockings. And then we kind of, like, yeah, look what we got, and go and tell mum and dad and, not, yeah. And, um, and then we're allowed to open one present under the Christmas tree before we go to church. And my sisters and I sit in church very antsy, sitting there going, we want to go home, we want to open presents. And then we go home and have big big lunch and with all the family and friends came over, come over. And then usually we kind of chill out in the afternoon and see what we've got and then go to a big family dinner up at our auntie, my auntie and uncle's place. Is there a Christmas food that you particularly hang out for? Christmas mince pies with lots of ice and sugar. They, they rock. Have you got any plans for New Year's Eve? Um, I hope to go away with all my friends. Um, a lot of my friends are going to a place called The Mountain, New Zealand, and we're um, all hoping to get down there and get a batch and do lots of swimming and, yeah, just have heaps and heaps of fun. Have you got any goals for 2001? Um, hopefully do more work and and do... I've got six form coming up next year, so two more years of school, yay! And I hope to do really well at that. So, what's the best Christmas present you've ever been given? Oh, that's so hard. Best Christmas present I've ever been given would probably have to be um, 
a trampoline when me and my sisters were like young and it was really cool we were all so excited and um, dad told us to go and get go under the spare bedroom bed and pull out the present we were all like dad it's really big <laughs> so um but yeah and we, he set it up for us and we spent the whole rest of the afternoon jumping on the trampoline which is really cool how about the best present that you've ever given someone else um, it'd probably have to be my mum and I got her a locket with um, a picture of her granddad and her grandma in it and I got it engraved and stuff for her. It was real sentimental value for her because they were photos she hadn't seen for ages, so yeah. Do you have a favourite Christmas movie? Um, it'd have to be a really old Santa Claus um, with um, Dudley Moore in it. It's like really old style, but it was, re- it was really cool, and my sisters and I used to watch it every Christmas. It used to come on television, so, yeah. How about a favourite Christmas song or Christmas carol? Um, God rest ye merry gentlemen. That would probably have to be, because it's a real church song, and I love it. Yeah. Thanks for talking to us on Tribe World today, and I hope you have a great Christmas. Thank you very much, and Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year to all you guys out there, and thank you so much for your support. OK, Nick, what does Christmas mean for you and your family? Um, exactly that. It means family. It means um, catching up with people you haven't seen for a long time in your family and just just relaxing together all on the same day. So how does the day usually pan out for you from the time you get up? Well, from the time we get up, it's um, get up and open a few presents with um, all the family that are in your house. Then, then what happens is we all meet up at um, one place and go out to a restaurant, a nice restaurant, and all just sit down at a huge table and all just have a nice relaxed Christmas lunch where we don't have to worry about cleaning up or anything. Um, then after that, because it's usually sunny in New Zealand and Christmas, we'll go home and just relax in the sun, and eat some more and open presents and just relax with the family. And is there any Christmas food that you look forward to? Oh, I used to really look forward to turkey, but since I turned vegetarian, I just uh, I look forward to the desserts. <laughs> um, do you have any plans for New Year's Eve? Um, not at this stage, no, probably just with friends. What about goals for 2001? Um, I'd, oh, I'm a bit um, I'm a bit predictable here, but just further my DJing and acting career. What's the best Christmas present that anyone's ever given you? The best one? Um, I was given just a, an empty box wrapped up very nicely and it had a note saying on it that it was just filled with love for me. Very nice. What about the best present, present you've ever given someone else? Best present I've given someone else. Um, I'm not sure actually. I mean, I, I give I my my signature gift is books, and um, I guess it would have to be giving my mum a book, which actually helped her get a new job. Hmm. Do you have a favourite Christmas movie? A Christmas movie, Home Alone. What about a favourite Christmas song or Christmas Carol? Uh, no, I don't. Um, I don't have a favourite Christmas song. Sorry. Will you have a good Christmas, Nick? Well, thank you very much, and um, Merry Christmas to everyone out there in Tribe World. Okay, Laura, we've got a few questions for you now about Christmas. Mm-hmm. What does Christmas mean to you? Um, it's just another day, really. Got a time off? Not even that. I work at my dad's restaurant at Christmas because he needs the extra help. Have you got any plans for the new year? Yes, I am heading up north and just staying the whole time on beaches, on all the beaches up north. On the... Anything special for New Year's Eve? Um, either going to be at the Mount or at Cook's Beach. Cook's Beach and Coromandel? Yep. yep. Um, what about goals for 2001? What are your goals? 2001. Um, work hard, <laughs> which is what I say every year, but no, next year I actually am going to work hard. Work hard and stay out of trouble. Yes, exactly. <laughs> What's the best Christmas gift that you've ever given anyone? Um, I'm not sure what I've ever given anyone, but it's my Christmas present that I'm going to give to my dad this year. Um, I can say it because he won't listen to this. Um, because my sister and my brother live over in, a, in Australia, and um, my dad, because he's so busy with his restaurant, never gets to see them. And... Um, hasn't seen them in a couple of years, hasn't seen his nephew, I mean his nephew, his grandson, and um, and so I'm going to pay for a return flight for him to go over there and spend um, Christmas and New Year's with my brother and sister, which hopefully will go down quite well with him. Which will leave you looking after the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Woo. But um, 
yeah, and it's sort of a present for my sister and brother at the same time, being able to say him. What about a gift that you've received? Anything special? Um, I don't know, things that were special at the time, like um, keyboard that I got when I was younger when I wanted to start playing the piano and stuff like that. But, uh, Have you got a favourite Christmas movie? Favourite Christmas movie? Um... No, the only one that can come to my head is Ernest Saves Christmas. <laughs> I love the Ernest movies. What about a Christmas song, be it a carol or a pop song or whatever? Um, I don't know. I don't really get into Christmas that much. Do you have a food, though, that, you know, when Christmas time comes, there's a lot of food that's not around for the rest of the year? Turkey. <laughs> I love turkey, and I only ever see it at Christmas. What do you think, for you, is the best thing about the Christmas time? Um... I'm not sure. I don't know, because I could say family and stuff, like, like families coming together and stuff, but I haven't seen my family on Christmas for the past couple of years. But when I did see them, it was definitely family and just, you know, keeping calm, trying not to have any worries at Christmas and stuff and just love, you know, the love. And the Relax. Giving, yes, and the giving and receiving and just the feeling that you get when you give someone a present and watching them open it and seeing their face light up you know, after they've opened it, that's a really special feeling that you get at Christmas. Well, thanks for talking to us today about Christmas. Have you got any um, anything you'd like to say to the fans of Tribe World? Um, Merry Christmas! <laughs> okay, Jamie, um, what does Christmas mean for you and your family? Celebrating with friends and family and opening presents. Do you have a special meal that you have on Christmas Day? Or? We always have a barbecue. With, and with potato salad, kebabs and sausages. Yeah, makes me hungry already. <laughs> um, do you have any plans this year for New Year with your family? We just stay up late every New Year's Eve. There's, we, it's just like another day, really. And see you in the New Year and yeah. go to bed really tired. <laughs> yeah. What are your goals for 2001? Oh, um, I want to be doing, I want to like, be, still be doing acting. Yeah. And still at school? Um, yeah. But I'd like to do acting. What's the best Christmas present that you've ever given somebody? PlayStation game. What about the best Christmas present you've ever received? Oh, all of them. Like, every year I want something, a, like, big present and I get it, so... Very lucky. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you got a favourite Christmas movie? Yes. What is it? Miracle on 34th. Or is it 32nd Street? Something like that. <laughs> What about a Christmas carol or song? Do you have a favourite one? I like Deck the Halls and Jingle Bell Rock. And how about a particular food? Do you find that you hang out for something in particular? Oh, I love candy canes. Excellent. Well, a Merry Christmas to all the fans of Tribe World. Yes, Merry Christmas. And we hope you have a good time, and we know that Jamie will be having a fantastic barbecue. <laughs> Ari, what does Christmas mean to you and your family? Um, well, it actually doesn't mean much because we're Jewish, so, yeah. So you don't celebrate it at all? No, not really. What do you celebrate instead? Hanukkah. What's, and what's Hanukkah all about? It's about the destruction of the first temple and the people that only had enough oil left to light the candles for one day, but it lasted for eight days. So they're eight days of Hanukkah, which means eight days of presents. Yay. So you get presents every day? Yeah. Very nice. And um, how does, is there one main day to Hanukkah? No. No. So it, it's like eight Christmas days? Yeah. All in a row. Very, very nice. <laughs> do you celebrate the normal New Year's Eve or is there a different no, Jewish New, New Year's Eve? Eve? Yeah, New Year's. And what do you guys get up to? Um, Go out and just party. Yeah. Party, party. friends? Yeah. Have you got any goals for 2001? Um, I think it'll be just to fit in in high school. Yeah. With green hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, when the show's over, you usually dye hair back. Yep. So you don't look like a Christmas tree. Yeah. <laughs> What's the best gift you've ever given somebody? Ooh. That's a hard one. Um, I can't actually remember. <laughs> They've all been very good. Yeah, ones. yes, definitely. What about something that you've received? What would you say is your best present? Um... Nope, can't remember that either. They're all great. Yes, all great. Okay. Do you have a favourite Christmas movie? 
um, Nightmare Before Christmas. What about a Christmas carol or a Christmas song or a Hanukkah song? <laughs> My favourite Christmas song would be... Oh, Silent Night, yeah. Do you have a favourite food that you eat sort of around Christmas, Hanukkah? Um... Mince pies. Love <laughs> the, them. Yeah, the mince pies, they're nice. Well, thanks for talking to us about um, Christmas and your family and Hanukkah. Mm-hmm. And um, hope you have a, a good holiday period. Thank you very much. Um, to all the Tribe fans out there, have an awesome Christmas and Merry Christmas. And thanks for all your support. What does Christmas mean for you, Amelia? Uh, just a sort of big family reunion and just lots of presents and food and everything, yeah. What do you usually do on Christmas Day? Do you get up early or late? Oh, or... I'm always up early. Actually, when I was younger, I was always up early, but now I just sort of get up more and more time. But I love getting in my mum's bed and opening presents and stuff. Yeah. And what about um, New Year's? Do you have any family plans or anything? What are you going to do on New Year's Eve? I, On New Year's Eve, I don't know what we do. I don't know. But on Christmas and the Christmas holidays, we're going down to Christchurch. Yeah. That would be nice. Um, do you have any goals for next year for yourself? Uh, do well at school? Yeah, or? just to keep yeah, doing well at school and just keep on going with this great job. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> What's the best Christmas present that you've ever given somebody? Or your favourite one that you've given? It's a hard question. I love... I, I think all my presents I give, I really love giving because I love like people opening them and going, wow, I always wanted this, or if they don't like it, they sort of don't tell me. So so you choose very carefully to make sure it's... Yeah, Christmas. yeah, they, I kind of ask them and then... OK. What about the best Christmas present that you've ever been given, given? yourself? Um, um, probably... A, tr- a trip to Australia. That would probably be wow. But um, I... Yeah, like I said before, I love, like, opening present, but, yeah, opposite, because <laughs> I... What about a Christmas movie? Do you have a favourite one? No, not really. I don't watch many, but, yeah. Oh, what's it? I think it... Yes. I, I like all, yeah. I like just, all of them? Yeah, I, I don't watch many, so... Do you have a favourite Christmas carol or Christmas song? Yeah, I do. I saw my me kissing Santa Claus. <laughs> I really like that. What about um, a favourite food to eat at Christmas time? Mm. Is there anything that you look forward to for Christmas Day? Ham and I and I love meringues. My mum always bakes meringues. Fresh baked meringues. <laughs> eh? Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, um, thanks for joining us to talk about Christmas. That's all right. And we hope everyone at Tri World has a great Christmas. Yeah, I hope you all do. See ya. Damon, what does Christmas mean for you? Christmas? Oh, I think Christmas is about family, really. Getting together with family and friends and stuff. And To me, it kind of means summertime because it's always summer here. But, yeah. And how does your Christmas day usually take shape? Um, kind of get up late-ish, you know, depending on the kids. Usually if there's kids around who want to get up at 8 o'clock and open their presents. But sort of get up late, um, open the presents, hang out with family in the morning. Um, then I usually go to the beach, actually because it's usually a nice day on Christmas Day, and then have Christmas dinner in the evening with my family, and then go and hang out with my friends in the after, in the in the evening. Any um, sort of foods that you hang out for on Christmas Day? Oh, I really like Christmas mince pies. The way my mum makes them, mum makes just brilliant mince pies. What about New Year's Eve? Have you got any plans in the pipeline for this year? I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, there's a big party called The Gathering, which I've been to in the past, but um, this year I think I'll probably hang out on the beach and keen to go up north and spend some time with some friends at the beach. What are your goals for 2001? Uh, what are my goals for 2001? Um, there's a play that I've sort of started writing. I'd really like to finish that. That's one of the big things. And get it on stage? I don't know whether it'll go on stage next year or not, but just to actually finish writing it at the moment. Now, on the Christmas gift front, what would be the best thing that you've ever given somebody? Um, I had a girlfriend a few years ago and uh, we went to this shop and there was this waistcoat there and it was made of this green velvet like a pool table and it had little number eight buttons on it. It was really cool and she really, really liked it and she was going to buy it and it was one of a kind and she decided not to and then we went 
later into town and uh, my brother was with us and I told him to go back and buy it for her. So he went and got it. And then she said while we were in town, oh, I'm, I've just got to have it, I've got to have it. And so we went back to the shop and of course he'd already gone by that stage and got it. And she went there and she was so disappointed that it was sold and I kind of felt really mean and almost went, oh, actually I got it for you for Christmas. But I sort of held off and didn't and she was upset for like the rest of the day just going, oh, I really want it, I really want it. And then on Christmas Day, which was like two months later or something, she, <laughs> she opens up the present and it's this waistcoat and she couldn't believe it. She goes, but there was only one of them. How could you? Did and you get gone. someone else to make it? And it was gone. And, and, and you know, and she couldn't believe it. And I said, well, actually, I sent Very my brother nice. back. The master plan. Yep. What about the best gift that you've ever received? Uh, what's the best gift I've ever received? I guess when I was a kid, you know, just something really small, you know, just toys when you were a kid was, was amazing. Like I remember getting Playmobil or something like that. They're all pretty amazing when you were a kid. Yeah. Do you have a favourite Christmas movie? Christmas movie? Um, I quite like the Santa Claus. That was quite good. What about a Christmas carol or Christmas song? Oh, uh, a Christmas carol. Um, God, no, I don't know. Well, thanks for joining us today to talk about Christmas. That's all right. And um, hope all the fans of Tribe World have a great Christmas too. Yeah, absolutely. And we hope you all get something very special and you can have a master plan like that. <laughs> I haven't got anything for you. I'm gonna wait. This ring, my dad gave it to me. There is still a lot happening in our tribe fandom, ranging from the tribe game to AJ Penn's trilogy, which has recently been released, let alone Ray's collector's edition of the screenplay, which has a fascinating foreword on the tribe memoir, giving more details on what has been occurring since Keeping the Dream Alive was published. In addition to that, there is also tribal music available, along with the audiobooks read by so many of the tribe cast. Oh. Hello. As we approach 2023, we are hopeful that there will be some exciting new announcements if negotiations continue with some third parties Ray and HQ are in negotiations with. But in whatever event, we will always do our very best to bring new and fresh product and material, along with making the existing series available on outlets such as Amazon Prime and even other streaming services, as well as our Vimeo channel. As far as social media is concerned, we will remain active and will be providing some profiles on some of our tribal brothers and sisters who have their own channels around the world and doing a spotlight on their activities. Whatever happens, we would like to take this opportunity of wishing you and your loved ones our very best for the festive season. And above all, that you all keep the dream alive and take care of yourselves. <laughs>